வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் அசிவகம் சார் யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் In spite of being lured by Abrahamic cults, my Sivites brothers who are holding on to Saivism, you must be aware of these three terms, Rakshasa Gana, Dev Gana and Manushya Gana. Deva Gana in Bible means angels, while in Quran it refers to Farista. Rakshasa Gana in Bible means demon, while in Quran it refers to jinn. Manushya Gana means human which in Tamil language means god given breath angels and demon the conflict between the devas and the asuras is eternal and inherent in the dynamic of the universe itself it exists as long as the universe exists asuras had free will they used to fight among themselves and also destroyed the dev or angels Human too have free will like demon remember asuras demon and angels were living somewhere in space earth was created when god planned to appoint his representative on the earth quran chapter 2 verse 30 reminds us about a discussion between god and angels before the creation of adam it reads and when your lord said to the angels indeed I will make upon the earth a successive authority. They said, will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood? While we declare your praise and sanctify you? Allah said, indeed, I know that which you do not know. Sivam in Tamil language means God omnipotent. Sivan in Tamil language means God representative on the earth. Sivan translated into Arabic means Khalifa. As per Tamil tradition the first administrator appointed by God is Sivan the Pandian. Sivan the Pandian established the first Pandian Sangam at Kumari Kandam. Quran chapter 2 verse 30 reminds mankind about Sivan the Pandian. Any doubts? Please note, Gulkarning mentioned in Quran chapter 18. Dhul kerning in Arabic language means two horns. Two horns refers to the bull. Bull or nandi a symbol of the Pandians. Dhul kerning refers to the Pandian. Dhul kerning in Arabic also means king of two generations. Meaning before Noah floods the administration of the colonies were in the Dhul kerning in other words the Pandian. After flood of Noah again the administrator were the Pandians from Bible the history of Sivan the Pandian has been removed if you ask any bible thumpers who are the tamil colonies their reply would be that tamil are semitic noah himself is from bloodline of sait alias siva adam in tamil language means ar denotes god dham refers to breath Adam in Tamil language means god given breath so beware of fake preachers among the christian cults Quran chapter 11 verse 48 to verse 49 confirms that apart from Noah's children there were other people in the boat who would enjoy for a while then a painful torment The Pandians colonies spread across Anatolia Mesopotamia river Iranian plateau Baluchistan Indus valley and so on up to Tamil Nadu Civilization like Mari, Elam, Aram, Sumerian Indus Valley are all Tamil civilization. After the fall of Babylonian Empire, the Pandians and its colony faced a painful torment due to Caucasian settlers empire called the Persian Empire. The Persian Empire adopted the principles of Mitraism. Mitraism policy are anti to god guided path called Asivagam. They introduced priestly class group who become the giver of salvation or moksha and they meditate with god and dead I read Quran chapter 11 verse 48 to 49 it was said O Noah disembark in security from us and blessings upon you and upon nations descending from those with you but other nations of them we will grant enjoyment Then there will touch them from us a painful punishment that is from the news of the unseen which we reveal to you O Muhammad you knew it not 
neither you nor your people before this so be patient indeed the best outcome is for the righteous all holy books reminds about seven the pandian and the god guided path which god gave to first siddha whenever that god guided path given to first siddha got distorted some messengers came and rectified that siratul mustaqim sometimes new rules were introduced and old law was abrogated the basic structure of god guided path given to first siddha remains same in every age Quran chapter 15 verse 39 to 42 Iblis Lucifer said My lord because you have put me in error I will surely make disobedience attractive to them on earth and I will mislead them all except among them your chosen servants Allah said that is a path of return to me that is straight indeed my servants No authority will you have over them except those who follow you of the deviators. Note Quran chapter 15 verse 41 clearly says that path given to God's chosen servant leads straight to God. Quran a reminder for Sivites reminding them about Sivan the Pandian and about the God guided path called Asivagam. Welcome. Thank you.